you sent out this very, you know, self-protective. You, you've got this, the walls up again. And the thing is to let the walls down, okay? Financially, things are looking good, I feel. Yeah, we have nine of pentacles. So financially, things are looking good. So it's not even about the finances. It's more about just interpersonal relationships. And I feel like a lot of blockages coming through, mainly because you're so guarded. And I do feel as well that... Um, you know what you have to do. You know what you have to do. It, it seems as if for a lot of you on an intuitive level, you know what you have to do, but it's just you're, you're being stubborn and you're fighting it. So I feel like this trip, if you're taking a trip and you're going to see friends that have known you for a while and you feel like you can let your guard down because you trust these friends, take that same approach when it comes to wherever, whatever it is that you're dealing with, okay? People are not out to hurt you. So I feel like there's no need to be protective with your feelings. There's no need to resurrect some type of force field around you in order to um, block out people, okay? So my advice, that is my advice coming through for this month. So um, this is a non-traditional deck, so I'm not going to be reading reversals. And I'm going to pull out four clusters here, as well as three advice cards. So let's look at the advice cards. Okay, so let's go into this reading. First cluster, we have the King of Cups and the Princess of Cups. There's definitely a, an offer coming through, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a relationship offer, of uh, an offer of love coming through. And I feel like, you know, both of these, it indicates a, a water sign. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I do feel for a lot of you, there is a little bit of mistrust when it comes to this situation. And you're not really sure if you need, if you... You're not certain if you're ready to go ahead, okay? And I feel like this person, this is the King of Cups here. So I hope you can see the cards and the imagery. Kings are very strategic. They know how to get what they want and they know what to do to get exactly what they want, okay? And uh, like I said, I don't read reversals in this spread, but I feel a very strong strategic water sign coming into your life and it can be male or female but I feel like the offer is on the table and I feel that they are or they have done a lot of reassessment when it comes to you before they make this offer so this isn't you know like the the, the light offer that that has been made from people who just want to date who just want a casual fling this is something that has been thought out that has been examined very thoroughly before they make this offer and I feel like for especially Aquarius females, you are looking at this offer and you're scared. I feel like you're, once again, you know, that whole being protective with your feelings and, and, and things like that. You, I feel you like this person. I do feel you care about this person. And I, I do feel that's why you're so nervous and that's why you're so scared. I feel that very, very strongly based on the way these two cards are coming out. There might be an age gap. You know, there. I feel like there is some type of an age gap, age difference. Somewhat, somebody might have like a lot of dating experience. The other person might not, and it feels scary. It feels like it's um. You know, like it seems almost like somebody has a lot more experience than the other, and the person with less experience seems a little bit scared. So that's what I'm I'm picking up with these cards, and I'm picking up like mutual attraction. And you both are a lot alike in a lot of ways. So it, you, you might have like, you know, similar features, I, I guess, similar ways of expressing yourselves emotionally. And I also feel like these cards are so identical. And I feel like it's, um, it is something and, and like, there's a strong connection here. There's a very, very strong soul connection between the two people. So I feel like you're, someone is making you an offer or someone is in your life a water sign and it unsettles you because you already know that it is going to be a heavy emotional experience, good or bad. And, you know, usually it's a good thing because it's coming from a king. So I feel like 
you're scared because you know that it is serious, okay? So that's the first thing. And I'm going to be doing the love reading later and let's see if this person comes back out. But I feel like for the majority of you for this month, you're dealing with some type of uncertainty when it comes to love and you're scared because it's um it requires a lot it's like delving deep into your um your emotional closet and you're not comfortable doing that and i feel for a lot of you there has to be some purging of that emotional closet so that you can let new people in okay and I know that's a weird analogy because you don't want to let people in the closet. But I feel like you have so, a lot of baggage that you need to purge, that you need, need to cut out of your life so that you're not scared to deal with new people, new energies. So the next cluster here is the Princess of Swords. This is your energy and the Nine of Pentacles. So first of all, financially, you are going to have a very, very good month. For those of you especially who are employed, like self-employed, or who are employers of other people, you're going to be sitting pretty and reaping the rewards of all of you know your, your minions hard work, or you're going to get a lot of clients, you're going to get a lot of contracts, and you're sitting pretty. So this is a very, very good card for financial stability. It is also a situation where I feel both of these cards indicate to me working in a very strategic way, formulating new plans, formulating new ways of doing something to streamline your work processes to increase, enhance efficiency. A lot of you are finding new ways to make money or you're finding new ways to restructure your work environment so that you, it can be more efficient, for example. I'm also feeling as well, this is the Princess of Swords and it's the Page of Swords in the traditional tarot weight uh, deck. Page of Swords are messengers as well, and they bring communication, they bring news and things like that, okay? So there is a lot of financial news, a lot of good, good news coming through on the financial front. Either you are approved for things, or there's a lot of money just trickling in for you, okay? So it looks very good. It looks very, very um, positive. The other thing that I'm going to say is, um, whenever I see the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like and this is going back to the, the more of the emotional aspect, okay? This is a woman who's like, I've got it. I've got it made. I don't need anybody else. So make sure you're not projecting this air of like aloofness, indifference when you're dealing with business associates, okay? And I feel like you're you're kind of like, you know, wielding your sword, swinging it around, ready to cut. So you want to um, try to let your guard down a little bit especially in business as well. So that's what I'm sensing here with this deck, okay? So just um, keep that in mind. Keep that aloofness, indifference, and ambivalence in check because I feel like you are like a hot volcano inside, but you don't let it show. And I feel like if you are negotiating, negotiating salary, for example, that's great. You're keeping a poker face. But if you're dealing with people on an everyday level, it's important for you to, you know, approach it in a more emotional way okay it's going to win you a lot of friends okay so the next cluster is we have the king of swords once again this is your energy as well and this deals more on a soul level so first of all let's talk about this the king of swords is air sign aquarius gemini libra and i feel like for a lot of you um kings are very very strategic when it comes to this image and the the energy that you're projecting you are very strategic you know what to do to get the outcome that you want and i feel that for a lot of you um there is something that you're formulating in private okay this can be a new business plan this can be like creating some type of um it, it can be a a project as well but in this regard, I feel that you don't want inputs from other people. I feel like you you feel as if, you know, I've got this. I think I'm going to be okay. So similar energy. But this deals with something that is done behind the scenes because we have the hermit. And I also feel like with the hermit energy, it's basically shining light on a situation, okay? So I'm going to say this. For those of you who are dealing with another Aquarius, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, I feel like some major, major truth, some type of awakening 
is um, is coming through as well as some light being shown on this possibly relationship partner or business partner or this air sign in your life that is going to drastically change the course of uh, your interaction with them. I feel it's positive though. I feel like it's positive news. It's positive revelations. I also feel that this is somebody that has the capacity, like the mental agility. He's the ideas person. So he can help you greatly if you choose to ask for it. So I almost feel like Aquarius, don't isolate yourself. There are people around you that want to help you. And they actually can give you a lot of good inputs. And if you look at the age difference between the hermit and this king, I almost feel like there is somebody, well, a lot of people, possibly three, who are very knowledgeable about whatever it is that you need help with or whatever it is that you're trying to do on your own. You are not on your own. You're being guided spiritually, but also they want to help you and they're trying to shine light so that you can see a way forward. So don't uh, take this type of stance where you're like, no, I don't need it. I want to take care of it on my own. Don't take this stance, okay? Be a little bit more, um, try to integrate more ideas, more people into your life for the month of March because the energy looks very good. Fourth cluster, we have the two of wands as well as the ten of swords. So let's talk about this situation here. The Two of Wands traditionally is a relationship card, okay? And this can deal with partnership or relationship. And based on this spread with the Two Cups energy coming out first, I feel like it is going to be an emotional month for you, which seems to me like it would be more on the emotional front, like love relationships, because financially you're fine. And I feel like whatever work projects that you've got, that you're fine. You're not worried about it. I feel that the only thing here is the relationship part. A lot of you are kind of like hiding in a cave and you're not really getting out, mingling, socializing. I feel that because you're busy with work. A lot of you have somebody that you're interested in and you're thinking, if I can't have that person, I don't really want to go out and date. So I feel that you already know what you want, but you're not being open about it okay so once again the two of wands is a situation where a relationship requires a lot of work and it requires a lot of sacrifices possibly commitment the two energy it shows only one person but it's a relationship card that means one person is really really thinking dreaming about the other person and the other person there might be geographical distance between the two of you or the relationship hasn't quite come together yet in a way that is stable. And for a lot of you, you're fearing the coming together process because you're afraid of being hurt. You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of, you know, you have a lot of fears and it's based on a past experience and you're not able to let that go. And because of it, it's keeping you in your shell. It's keeping you in a place where you're using work as a distraction, which is something Virgos do very well. So I feel like, you know, with the hermit energy, a lot of you might be dealing with some earth energy, possibly the Virgo energy. But I also feel like a lot of you are just really scared about jumping into new ventures. A lot of you want to go on your own way because you feel like, I know what I'm doing, I trust myself, and you know I can take care of myself. But if there's another person in the mix, then I have to compromise. Then I don't know what they'll do, and I don't really trust it 100%. So there's something around you that, um, some there's something new, someone new around you, possibly even, that you don't really trust. And I feel like it's not that you don't trust them. It's just you feel like it's too much hassle and you would rather do it on your own. And you're really afraid of being hurt, stabbed in the back, betrayed. You're very, very afraid. So you would rather do it on your own. And I feel like that's a really, um, it's a sad way to live. Open yourself up a little bit more, okay? Um, this is also a card about voyage, okay? So I feel that I mentioned travel earlier, so I do sense as well. Check your travel itinerary. 
if you are come if you are traveling alone to see another person i do feel that you might want to check weather check lodging check housing situations okay because i i feel like this is also somebody you know the hermit he's um it's the dead of winter he's out trying to find a place to get away from the elements so check some some travel itinerary especially hotel lodgings and things like that if you are traveling so the bottom three cards are going to be the advice for you so first of all a lot of you have an offer you have an offer again and I feel like this isn't the offer that you you had your hopes and and you know your dreams and aspirations and, and this isn't like the the right it, it isn't just coming just yet and I feel like a lot of you the offer is there but I feel like it's not one of those you're dealing with water signs I feel and water signs are a little they're they're very shy so they, they might nonchalantly, you know, give you an offer and you're just like, was that really an offer? Did they just ask me out on a date? Because they're not very clear. Okay. So I feel like it has to happen three, four, five, six times for you to get, for you to get it. And then by that time, they're just like, why doesn't he or she get it? So I feel like there is a shyness associated with both of these people. And, you know, this man is like, here's, here's an offer, but he's not he doesn't make it clear and then you know you're you're thinking was that really an offer or was that just uh, was it was that an offer for a date or was that an offer for a friendship or was that something else am i misreading it so you're overthinking it but then again they're not making themselves clear either so i feel like that's what's happening here it has to happen like three four or five times for you to realize okay they really want to date me so be careful with this energy okay um just ask questions just just ask you know like what do you mean by that are we going on a date do you want to date and see what they say if they turn red then obviously it means that they want to go on a date so you know just just, just read body language and the the way that aquarius asks questions is very point blank it's just you know what do you mean and and i feel like for this month that's what you need to do and i feel like that would actually clear up a lot of questions for you a lot of confusion for you okay so I feel that somebody's very shy they might make the offer a few times in order for you to get it and um, it's save them the embarrassment and just try to get it the first time okay what I'm also feeling here is um, for those of you specifically dealing with fire signs okay we have the king of wands here and the king of wands is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this, you have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. And I feel like you have options here. At the same time, you have the Three of Wands, which means multiple options, waiting for multiple options. And then when they, waiting on offers, but when they come in, they all hit you at once. And you have many, many offers. So you don't really know what you want to choose. So we're going from two of wands, which is, I only want this one person. But then we end up with the three of wands, which means two people are coming in. And at this point, you don't know what to choose. So what you thought you wanted, it might change as a result of new people coming through. And I feel like you can't really go wrong anyways, because... Um, as long as you are honest with yourself about what it is that you want. I feel like for a lot of you, Aquarius always know who they want to be with. It's really hard for an Aquarius to lie when it, it comes to matters of the heart. When you feel it, you feel it. And when you don't, you, you, you can walk away without looking back, okay? And um, I feel like you know what you want, but you're still very afraid of getting hurt. I feel that you're very, very afraid. It's it's not that you don't trust the other person. I feel that you do. But I feel that you're scared of them. I feel like you're they make you nervous. Um, they they intimidate you. I feel that with this water sign, you know that you have a very strong possibly spiritual connection with them. You know that they they're I feel like age gaps, okay? Age gaps. And um, it can be, you know, just massive age gaps or even 
I, yeah, I, I feel like somebody has a lot of control over another person, not in a bad way, but I feel that there is a sense of somebody being intimidated, somebody possibly younger, less experienced, feeling that intimidation. I feel a lot of chemistry with these cards. I also feel a lot of chemistry with this guy here. This is the King of Wands, the fire sign. Um, so you can't really make a bad decision here, Aquarius. I feel for a lot of you, you are going to go with this fire sign. And, you know, in terms of the advice, I'm going to advise that you go with the fire sign. Go with the, the person that stirs your passion, that that makes you very weak in the knees. Because I feel like that part of yourself, the, the emotional aspects of yourself have been blocked due to a series of disappointing relationships in the past. And I feel that you need somebody like this in order for you to, you know, feel happy and, and not have a heavy emotional experience. But I do feel that both of these are good candidates, okay? And um, in terms of the advice, they're saying go with this person. But um, what I'm feeling as well is that you definitely have two offers coming through. We have the three of wands. Your ship is coming through. And you might be able to you might be able to, you know, casually date as well. So this is also about casual dating, okay? The King of Wands is somebody, they know what they want, and they're going through the process of elimination in order to get the person, the, the right fit for them. So maybe this is what you have to do. But I, I do feel like both of these people, whatever is on the offer, this person is possibly a little bit more blunt, is a little bit more uh, directed, in terms of asking you out, in terms of, you know, providing some type of, um, you know, he, the, the offer is a little bit more concrete with this king, all right, with the fire sign. So let's go into the love reading and let's see if they show back up again. And once again, I am using the tarot Musha and I don't read reversals. I'm going to pull out five cards. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius, March 2016 in love. Okay, you got three. March 2016 for Aquarius in love. So the Page of Cups is coming out again. So earlier it was the Princess of Cups and now it's the Page of Cups. That's coming through again. And that is definitely a love offer. So let's look at this situation here. And one more card. Okay, so Aquarius, you've got a very solid offer, but you're not budging. You're not budging. Yeah. So let's look at this situation here. First of all, the page energy, this is a water sign. Aquarius, excuse me, not Aquarius. This is um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sun, Moon, Rising. And I feel like it's coming back in again. So you have some type of solid offer. This is a new start, okay? And this is a, a situation where two people like each other and they're trying to get to know each other. So this is the very, very early start. And even at the early start, you're, you're already getting cold feet. I feel like you're already getting cold feet. You're thinking, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Should I do this? Should I do that? Am I making the right choice? And you're not budging. Okay, for a lot of you as well, you've dealt with a lot of um, just worries, anxieties. You have a lot of stressors in your life, and this is possibly also work situations, or you have a lot of options on your plate, and you don't really, you can't devote the time and the mental energy to a long term committed relationship and you feel like this is a solid offer it is going to entail some type of a commitment and you're not ready I feel like for a lot of you you're not ready and for a lot of you too you know the person that you want and there might be a new person coming through and you are still dealing with you know the residual energies of missing the other person as well so 
I feel that both of these cards indicate to me that it is a serious offer. It has the potential to go the long haul. We're going from the Page of Cups to the Four of Wands, which is traditionally a family, a marriage card, okay? So there is some type of long-lasting union that can come from this. And what's crowning this reading here is the Nine of Cups. This is the person that you've always waited for. This is the wish card. But I feel like, especially for female Aquarius, you might be very happy being on your own and there's nothing wrong with that. So you don't want to give up the independence. And I feel like for male Aquarius, especially, regardless of whatever gender you're dating, if you self-identify as a female Aquarius, I feel that you have many, many, many options on the table. And I don't feel that a lot of you are playing the field, but you're just really comfortable with the way your life is right now. You don't want another distraction. Money is going well. You know, friendships are thriving. So you don't really feel the need to get yourself in situations. And I feel like you might be scared as well. But the bottom line here is that you're happy with the way your life is right now. And I feel like deep down in your hearts of heart, you knew this person was going to step forward. You knew the person would step forward. So for the, those of you who are male Aquarius, I feel like you're going to go with it. So if there is, this is the hangman in the reverse position. Okay, so this is upside down and this is reverse because remember it is the hangman. And this is basically, you know, not waiting in suspension anymore. Um, picking yourselves up by your own bootstraps and... Um, not hanging in limbo. This is the time for action. So I feel like this offer is there. The women people might be a little bit shy or they might be be thinking once again, was that really an offer? But I feel like they had to come back and scream and just say, yes, it is an offer. So I feel like for male Aquarius, you might just go with it. And you're going to be happy, by the way, because it is solid. It's showing up as something very, very solid. It is going to restore your faith in love and life because I feel like you've been through a lot of heartache you've been through dealing with people who were you know who say one thing they mean another and you've also been having some type of um, sleeplessness due to love due to love issues so I feel like this will restore your faith in love in people and especially for you male Aquarius if you've been burned in the past this is a, something new that you definitely need to go forward with, okay? So Aquarius, overall, very, very good month, especially new relationships. And I feel like, you know, if you're deciding between the two signs, go with the one that makes you feel like a child. Go with the one that makes you feel as if you're in the presence of greatness, okay? That's, that's, I feel like that's what you need to do for this month, okay? Go with the one that makes your, your, your world a little bit brighter. I feel like a lot of you moving forward, you don't want a heavy emotional experience. You want a more lighthearted relationship. You want commitment, but I feel like you are you want a little bit more of a lighthearted energy. So I feel that you might go with the person that has more of an outdoorsy aura about them, or they might be great sense of humor, for example. They light up your world in some way. They make you feel happy. And I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, it might be the fire sign that you choose because there's a lot of fire energy here too. But, you know, they're both positive. You can't really go wrong. So Aquarius, I wish you the best.